Hello traders, this is Sam. Welcome back to another daily recap on the Ticks and Trades channel. Today is Wednesday, November 13, 2024. It's a few minutes before 8 a.m. Eastern currently. So far in the overnight session, price has pulled back a little, but nothing too drastic yet. They're currently at 595.91, as you can see up here in the left corner of your screen, upper left corner. At 8.30 a.m., there is a CPI data release, Consumer Price Index. So we'll see if that does something to the pre-market, maybe sets the stage for where they might open. There is a relatively big space of nothing, spanning about, I don't know, 35 S&P points here. In the middle, around 596.90 is where they closed yesterday. And usually a daily close at a significant area is something I would consider important, maybe a tradable level. But I don't see any other good reason to include it on the board today. Well, maybe as a reference, I'll put it here. 596.90, we'll call it. I'll use this as a reference. It depends on other factors, whether I'd trade it. But without it, I really just have white space on the chart until the higher and lower levels. Unlike yesterday, I don't really have a strong feeling about a direction that they might go today. I kind of need to see more signals, but I'll keep an eye out. After the closing bell, we'll come back to this chart and talk about any e-mini futures trades that may have resulted from the SPY reacting at these levels on the board for today. Catch you on the other side. So coming back at you the next morning, you notice it's November 14, 646 in the morning. I had some issues with my display. I have a new monitor, some more pixels, some more real estate, hoping to record these videos in 4K going forward, but had some issues with the uh, recording of the live trade and it wasn't syncing up right. So I'm just going to redo it this morning. It was pretty late last night when I started anyway. So let's just talk through this really fast. Playing by the rules, you would have had two official trades. Well, three official trades, one that was a wash and it's right here. So if you can see prices coming down into this 596.90. Now, you may recall that I said yesterday morning in the pre-market video that I really wasn't feeling this level. This was just a close of the previous day. But if you were going to trade it per the rules, you would have adjusted this up $0.05 cents toward price as they were coming down into it. And looking for a bounce up to $0.40, uh, $0.40 cents here or four points in the E-minis, which is I'm just hovering right here at 597.35. Well, they got below it and no big deal because it's, matter, it's a function of time in terms of the uh, fumble threshold, which I'm not going to draw here. But the point is they came up within 10 cents of your profit objective and fell away really fast down into your entry point. So the idea is that's a near miss. You jump out. It's a wash, hopefully, or a scratch, maybe lose a few points. So that's a trade that didn't work out because the market's telling you they're probably going to go lower. And you don't really want to wait it out. So they're coming back up. This is too early for a recycled trade. Plus, that was too close for comfort anyway. That was an attempt. They pulled away, so I'm not going to trust this level for a short trade if they come back up into it again, which they did, and it would have worked, but I played by the rules. So there's a trade, but at this point, this level is done for the day. Let's just put it back at the official level. And this comes into play later because you'd have to ask yourself, do you want to take it again at this point? I wouldn't. Obviously, it worked this time, but you just don't know when it would work. So it worked two times today, but just not in the manner that I like. But... Moving on, this level down here, pretty obvious that 595.11 worked. Whether you added the $0.05 cent buffer or not, we'll go ahead and do it just to be official. That one worked really well for a base hit or more. And that's the one trade I took and rode this up a little bit. And then price is coming up into 598.68. Let's add the buffer, so 63. And yes, they got out of the money a little bit, but pulled back for your base hit, which is down here somewhere. That would be it for this level. You don't want to touch it for the rest of the day. We've already talked about that one. So there's three trades, two base hits, if you're playing by the rules. And then here are my trades. Or I should say just my trade. I took one trade. I ignored this level. I wasn't feeling it, like I already said. And when they got down into 595.11, I bought two contracts, which you'll see in a minute. But I'll scrub ahead. Or I'll just let this go because I want you to see that when they were coming down into 596.90 after 9.45 in the morning, I just... Let it, left it alone. I'm hovering right here just to see, are they going to bounce? But kind of having a feeling that they weren't, but that near miss was my clue that I should just ignore it. Anyway, I wasn't in the trade, so it didn't really matter. There we go. That was my clue. And they came down into 595.11, and I had an order in the system, so it was triggered automatically at 595.16, I believe. There we go. Bought two contracts, you see on the right side. Took six points off with one contract, or Took one contract off at six points and trailed the other one up for a few more points. So 775 total before commissions on that one trade. And that happened pretty fast. And then 
I just let them go. And by the time they got up to 598.68, I was away from my computer, not really wanting to participate in the market and close up shop around noon or so after lunch. I just let them go. So I really wasn't even at my computer. It wasn't on, I should say, when they finally hit 598.68. So I did not take that trade. And you can see this stops right here about noon is when I shut down for the day. We'll take a quick look at the daily chart to see if there's anything we can tell. They closed in the middle of this kind of range that they're starting to develop in, which is easier to see on a shorter time frame. So nothing really conclusive at this point. On an hourly chart, it's easier to see that they're going sideways and letting this 20 period moving average kind of catch up to them. They're under the 20 and the 50 period on a few other smaller time frames, but just to point out that they're going sideways. So this could mean they're going to push up or if they fail and come back down, they'd have to get down to this area and start closing below this before they're kind of in trouble. At this point, they're just kind of in a pretty big range because of the big move they had starting last week. I can say, though, that this, since I'm doing this in the morning now, they are at 598.20, so they've climbed a little bit. In fact, we can look at that maybe on a 15-minute chart just to see what it looks like in the aftermarket hours, the 24-hour session. There we go, climbing just a little bit. So we'll see. I believe there are some data releases today and maybe tomorrow as well. I'll double check that. Yes, we have the PPI numbers coming out today and then tomorrow, Friday, there is some retail sales numbers. So we'll see what that does to the market. But at this point, they're just kind of in the middle. I'm not going to make any predictions either direction with any confidence about which direction they might go. Over on the logs, the first one is the playing by the rules log. And you can read the notes to see how this first level at level five was should have been a wash. I'm just going to say you gave a couple points back because how fast they came down. As you saw, I was not in the trade, but uh, we'll just be fair about it. So if that's a two-point fumble you're giving back, then you got a base hit on the other levels. So there's where you landed. And then on my trade, it was just really the one trade, which was a net seven and three-quarter points with a two-contract trade. There's your 775 before commissions. So that's a wrap for today. I hope you found this uh, helpful and interesting, perhaps learned something. Thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. And in a few minutes, I'll be back with new levels. I just have to do the work and put numbers out for this morning, Thursday morning. So thanks again. Have a great rest of your day.